I'm gonna go fishing it with these nutballs over here. <laughs> hey, nutballs! In today's episode, we explore under the reefs of San Blas in search of dinner and find way more than we bargained for. It's a little bit well, That was pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty good exploring. The only problem was we got to the back of this cavern and there's a gigantic grouper back there that I trapped that you had nowhere to go. Yeah, like a little juicy thing to build? Yeah, I saw it. Like, yeah, why, you... why? Uh oh. I think we nailed that one. They're heavy. They would have battered fish. Oh, it was oh. a battered fish. Today. Battered fish on the fire. Tenemos una regalo para ustedes. Mesa. Is it a solar panel? And I thought it would be cool if we kind of donated it to our Kuna friends on the end of the island. They live in this tiny little village and they're asking people to like recharge their cell phones and their batteries for lights and stuff. And with this thing, and with the solar panel, they'll have like plenty of power. Can't believe we're going to the Pacific. That's exciting. I know. In fact, I've just uh, spoken with the agents. Uh, yeah. Then we'll get our date to go through the canal. We'll be in the Pacific Ocean. Pretty unreal. <laughs> it is a big deal. I'm excited though. Yeah. And uh, which means I'll be finishing the circumnavigation soon. I am so excited about this. Our good friends, uh, Charlie and Andy, uh, they actually got Sierra a bicycle. Look at it. And so we're gonna take the nugs into the beach and see if we can find a little place for her to ride her bike because there's not much room on the boat. Whoa. Back it up. <laughs> Oh, you're bringing your ball too? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready, Nugs? <laughs> Let's go. What a cool place to first learn how to ride a bike. Whoa, Sierra, pedal your feet. Pedal those feet. Come on. <laughs> I have a watch on. I do have a watch on. Yeah. So we've decided to go out and do a bit of, uh, ooh, dirty lens. Decided to go out and do a bit of uh, exploring out at the, exploring, exploring out at the outer reef. Uh, Plucky noticed some caves uh, and some cool cracks to explore. So I think it's quite crazy the entry because uh, you have to get dropped off uh, where the, the ocean swells are breaking on the reef. And so, our good friend Andy is gonna drop us off on his dinghy. I think Plucky's already out there because he's a madman. <laughs> uh, so, uh, just a quick briefing, I guess. It's a big crack. Uh, well, there's one cave, and then there's a crack, and then it opens up to a cavern with sand. Then there's another sort of a cave behind it and then there's a cave and then there's another cave and <laughs> if I know what goes on after that okay I'll, I'll, I'll show them Plucky's explored this system of cracks and caverns in the reef before but he was never able to get beyond a certain point in the system while free diving so Bill and I decided to scuba and see what was down there. Mm -hmm. 
This system of cracks goes back quite a ways. It's unique because for most of the dive, there is breathing holes above you every so often, which makes finding your way in and out pretty easy. Tonight. Well, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty good explorer. And the only problem was we got to the back of this cavern and there's a gigantic grouper back there that I trapped. He had nowhere to go. This was the part of the dive we were really keen to explore beyond the limits of free diving and breath holding. We were pretty deep into a long tunnel which opened up into a smaller cavern. In the distance, I could just make out movement of what looked to be a large fin. But I really couldn't make it out, so I decided to move a little closer and check it out. And then I saw it pretty well. A massive goliath grouper had chosen this particular cavern as its home. And I was like, this guy is going to turn around and I'm going to be right in his way, which is bad news when he weighs twice as much as me. Goliath groupers can grow to be up to eight feet long and weigh in at a staggering 800 pounds. This one was probably about a five footer and maybe twice my weight if I had to guess. I've swam with these giants before and they usually don't care too much about you given their massive size. Unless of course, you're the only thing between them and freedom. I just basically scrunched myself to the wall and let him blow right by me when he saw me and then I was like, oh no, Bill's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go for Bill. I was like, oh, he's deep. Oh, look at the little juice. Did I get Bill? Yeah, I saw. I was like, yeah, why? Yeah. Why? Uh-oh. I was like, oh, that's Where's a big grouper. <laughs> They're territorial, too. I was like, I thought, yeah. So, anyway, that's a sweet dive. Yeah, see? All right, we'll see you back at base camp. I'm happy to make dinner tonight, or what do you want to do? Wow, sweet. <laughs> awesome, Works yeah. for me. It's a plucky went out spear fishing this morning. We got a couple of good looking snapper. They're big, nice fish, Plucky. I think we nailed that one. They're heavy. I think tonight we're going to do uh, fire with stick bread. And we're gonna like barbecue up uh, the fish on the beach. And we're gonna have battered fish. Oh, it was oh. a battered fish. Today. Battered fish on the fire. Wow. Yeah. Just, uh, and we might smoke the carcasses. So this liver, it's really good. You can also eat this. What does it taste like, this fish? The liver is really good. No one believes it, but it's really good. It tastes like um, yeah. fish liver. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could not do that. So because we're doing a little campfire, our last campfire on the beach today, um, I think I'm going to do stick bread. It's like one of my new favorites. Uh, it's a pretty easy recipe, it's easy dough, but it takes a little bit. So I'm starting a bit early. <laughs> While we waited for the dough to rise, Kaz and I decided to try and do something that we're actually very terrible at. We needed to do a little photo session and perhaps, if we were lucky, get a highly coveted thumbnail-worthy shot. And to pull it off, 
we'd need the help of our friends and neighbors, Bill and Grace from Calico Skies. Welcome to the behind the scenes reality of sailing YouTube life. So uh, I have a few ideas. <laughs> so one straight forward, the anchor coming up. So hopefully I will be able to pick it up, you know, as we come off the bottom. We go to great lengths try and get good thumbnails for the videos because on YouTube if it's not a good thumbnail like no matter how good the video is it just doesn't matter so our mission this morning is we're actually picking up the anchor uh, and then Bill and Grace from Calico Skies are gonna help us they're in the dinghy with their camera and we're going to pick up the anchor and then we're gonna run to the bow and then before we hit the island behind us back there we're gonna try and snap some photos of us, like natural and real life action and stuff. So, it's so what we gotta do. We're off the bottom. Okay. Okay. Before we hit Calico, <laughs> I'm reversing. We did it, Lux. We did it. We didn't hit Calico. Yay! I don't know how soon thing we should be. I want to see the anchor. You can always crop in. Yeah, you can always crop in, right? So I'd say make sure you get the make boat sure you and get us. a little bit of water and above our heads. Okay, it's all in a good day's work. The we gotta do, huh? Do you wanna help me to send a message to our patrons out there? Oh, nice! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay, hi patrons! We just wanna send you a message and say thank you so much for all your love and support. It means the world yeah. to us. You know who you are and you're amazing. And it's really because of you guys that all of this is happening. Mama. So, yes. do you wanna swim? Okay, I'm just gonna say this one more thing. <laughs> And if you want to become part of our patron tribe, head to patreon.com forward slash svdelos and check it out. It's a lot of good things there for you. You get to see the videos one week before everybody else. Uh, yeah, access to shop. You get to talk with us on a more personal level and yeah, a lot of other good things. So head to patreon.com forward slash svdelos and check it out if you want to. Okay. So I think the bread roasts pretty good. Oh, it did rice good. Yeah. All right. Are you ready to go in, Nugs? Yes. Do you want to go cook uh, stick bread on the beach? Yeah, you can bring that. And Plucky's going to cook fish. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Ooh. How do you feel about this might being our last bonfire in a long time? Oh, I'm not too happy about that. <laughs> this place is special and that's just one of the many reasons. Yeah. You can pretty much anywhere rock up on any of these islands, have a little bonfire. Nobody cares, nobody bothers you. In fact, they're happy for you burning the, the junk off the islands because they try to do it themselves to keep them clean. Hello! <laughs> I know, he's a funny man. <laughs> The ones that are in the giant school that have the yeah. they're mostly white with a black dot on the tail. Looks really cheesy. Yeah, okay, nice. Cool. We're gonna check back. Yeah. The last supper, people. Snapperlicious. Snapperlicious. Bite sized chunks of delight. Ooh. I think some of them are done. Yeah. Wow, that's perfect. Mm. How'd we do? Very good. And by we, I mean you. Mm. Yeah. I got my, I've got my bread. Put the fish in there. It's fish and bread. 
And then we're gonna put a little bit of aioli on there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Phil. That's where it's at right there. Mm. Mm -hmm. ah. You're welcome. <laughs> Well, we have this unit, the solar power generator that we finished the testing and the evaluation on. And I thought it would be cool if we kind of donated it to our Kuna friends on the end of the island. They live in this tiny little village and they're asking people to like recharge their cell phones and their batteries for lights and stuff. And with this thing and with the solar panel, they'll have like plenty of power. The interesting thing will be me trying to explain to them how to use it. Yeah. But it's pretty simple. I'll just set it up and we'll see if they like it. Maybe they won't even want what it. What if they like? No, we don't want this. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Then I'll give it to Plucky. He could use it too, just as much as them. <laughs> Come on, Nugs. Hola. Tenemos un regalo Ajá, para regalo. ustedes. Sí. Uh, Mesa. Sí, uh, un solar panel ah, uh, uh, con battery. Ajá, uh, wey. Re es una... Puede uh, rica recargo Ajá. de un teléfono. Uh, es una... Electricidad, sí. las luces. Sí. ¿Quieres? Sí. Okay. Yeah, okay. Sí, cool. Sí. Um, I will. I need my phone now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Google Translate? I gotta try and do Google Translate conversation. Gracias. Okay, so, uh, muy importante, no uh, mojado. Mojado, muy malo. Aquí, es para USB, telefono, button, on, off. <laughs> Cuando voy sol, uh, recargo muy rápido. Yeah. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Uh, muy, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Mm -hmm. Fácil? Fácil. Muy fácil. Yeah, so right now, even with the clouds and the shade, the solar panel is charging at 25 watts. Uh, and it, the phone is taking 8 watts, so it'll, it'll keep it quite charged if they keep it plugged in. Nice. So this is the kitchen, huh? Yeah. Wow. So this is, I think, the, the cooking hut? Yeah. La, la cocina? Cocina. Co cocina con uh, fuego? Fuego. Solo con fuego. ¿Qué es uh, pes pescado? No. No? No pescado. Igual llega a que eh, comida, eh, pero. Pero. Eh, pero. Dinner for the dog, pero. Oh, para comida para perro. Pero, sí. Ah, ok, ok. Oh, wow. No espero. No. Comida para perro. Pero, ok, ok. Like, huh? ¿Y uh, dónde dormir? ¿Aquí? ¿Este, este bien? Oh, nice. So. No cama solo no, no. hammock. Hamaka. The Kuna Kuna sí, way. Kuna, sí. Hello. Oh, thank you. Really? Oh, that's so kind. Thank you. Yamal yamal. We got a little trade here. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah. Oh, this bag is beautiful. Oh, 
dong. Gracias. Gracias. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Bye. And just like that, our time in the San Blas came to an end. It was time to take Delos through the Panama Canal and back to the Pacific where all this began so many years ago. Well, it's been just over a month since uh, I've cleaned the bottom last. I'm gonna go down and have a look. I'm hoping it's not too bad because we've got that sail coming up. I wanna get her nice and clean so we're fast. All right, let's go check it out. It looks like it's just mostly uh, grass. So I'm hoping it comes off quite quickly. Shouldn't be too much work. Probably about two hours, maybe three, we'll see. With Delos's bottom all slick and clean, there is only one thing left to do. Head out and enjoy your favorite sandbar one last time. There goes our friends. Bye bye Avalon. See you in the Pacific. I know, it was great seeing everyone. It was really nice to see them. Very cool. Short but sweet, and now they're off again. What a spot, huh? It's lovely. It's good swimming. Snorkeling waters. I know. The water. Really enjoyed so our good. time here. I know. It's been amazing. Been swimming every day. Snorkeling. Swimming. Yeah. Beach barbecue firing. <laughs> yeah, super nice spot. I feel like every spot we go to, though, we're like, oh, this is our favorite. <laughs> Could use a few more months here, huh? I know, right? I can't believe we're going to the Pacific. That's exciting. I know. In fact, I've just uh, spoken with the agent um, and we got our appointment to be measured for the Panama Canal because you have to be measured, which means you have to sail the shelter bay, get in the marina, and then once you're measured, then they can schedule you. Yeah. Then we'll get our date to go through the canal. We'll be in the Pacific Ocean. It's pretty unreal. <laughs> It's like, I feel like I'm nervous real. about the Panama Canal. It's a big deal. It is a big deal. I'm excited, though. Yeah. And, uh, which means I'll be finishing the circumnavigation soon. That is exciting. Yeah, so, like, because of uh, the hurricane season sort of starts, uh, we have to be up in the northern part of the Sea of Cortez yeah. by July 1st, yeah. is what the insurance company says. Yeah. So we've got about two months to sail roughly 2,400 miles from Panama Canal up to like north of Puerto Vallarta. Like. And that was it for our time in the amazing San Blas. These islands and the surrounding waters are to me what cruising is all about. Good friends, great anchorages, and plenty of empty beaches with pristine waters and postcard perfect islands to enjoy. But it was time for Delos to hoist sail and begin preparations for a journey into the Pacific Ocean and beyond, where I would hopefully achieve a huge milestone for any sailor, the completion of one lap around this amazing planet of ours. Up next on Delos, we welcome back some familiar faces and embark on one of our biggest milestones in our entire trip around the world, transiting the Panama Canal. The doors are closing! The doors are closing! Bye Atlantic Ocean! See ya! Oh, that's what I'm talking about! Watch it, baby! Yeah! Your compass is not making sense! <laughs> Go on, baby, work it, work it. <laughs> Brian, who knew you had such hidden talents? How long do I have to know you before, before I know all of you? I mean, jeez. <laughs> oh, ah!
I might get 35 views that week. <laughs> Double.